Come hither, children. Today we read from the lesser known stories of Dr. Seuss. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Miss Claire, what book is it? Today we are reading The Cat and the Knife. Wait, what? Let's see what fun adventures Cindy Lou and the cat get into. It was a beautiful day near Wallaby Way when all of a sudden Cindy Lou cried a loud slay. Ah! Did, 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 did Cindy Lou get murdered? Let's just read and find out. A scream shouted once, a scream shouted twice. Every who gasped as a scream shouted thrice. Cindy Lou felt nervous for the first time in her life as Cat wiped blood and licked his long knife. He ran down the street and into the night. Cindy Lou lay frozen too scared to fight. Derek, what is it? Yeah, I'm gonna throw up. Swallow it. But as Cindy Lou said this, she felt a sharp pain. She looked down at her shirt and saw a red stain. <laughs> a hand covered her mouth and a knife cut her throat. Cindy Lou lost so much blood, it looked like a red coat. Oh, look, children, it's the actual murder weapon. I hate this. Detectives found Cindy Lou's dead body without delay. Forensics ran evidence, but it did not pay. Cat was arrested and convicted on murder one. One look from the jury, and they knew he was done. When asked for his last meal, Cat thought of something divine. He asked for Cindy Lou's liver and a glass of red wine. What is forensics? There was a sticky substance found all around where she died. That left detectives wondering, which way to decide? It might be a clue. It could be a scam. But detectives swear it smelt like green eggs and ham. So, what did everyone think? <laughs> I love my mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I guess everyone's a critic. Uh, let's try another one. It's time for Q is for QAnon. Oh, the bad things you can think. 